Hey everyone, it's Elliot here as always, and today I've got another film review for you guys. This one is Free State of Jones, which is a film that's not had much love here in the UK since it's been released. It didn't open to any critical fanfare, and it's not had any marketing at all. It's directed by Gary Ross, who did the first Hunger Games movie, and it's got a fantastic cast as well. It stars Matthew McConaughey in the leading role, and in support it's got Gugu mbatha and Martial Art Ali. Free State of Jones chronicles the true story of Newton Knight, a man who was a nurse in the Confederate forces who very quickly became disillusioned seeing the injustice that the Confederate forces were fighting for. He deserts the army, meets his true love in a slave girl, and then he vows to unite all men he can in Mississippi to rebel against the Confederacy. In essence, he is a Robin Hood character. He helps the poor regain what was stolen from them by the wealthy. The thing I instantly admired about Free State of Jones was the attention to detail in creating this period setting. You can really tell that the filmmakers wanted to make this as authentic as possible. This is apparent in the opening battle in which there are scenes of soldiers missing limbs and quite frankly gore that I did not expect to be in this film. But that said, it's all done tastefully and it just helps to immerse you into the story. In Free State of Jones, Matthew McConaughey is excellent, which I am so happy to say because I found that in recent years, he tends to just play himself in a lot of these roles. But in this, he definitely takes on a new persona in giving life to this historical character. The supporting performances from Gugu mbatha Raw and Martial Art Ali are also brilliant. Both actors have such tremendous screen presence and they give some really stirring speeches in this film as well. While the story of Free State of Jones is unfamiliar to me, the messaging is nothing new, but it is still of great importance. Wealth and race inequality are at the centre of this story, and these are political issues that we still struggle with today. Now, I was loving this film up to a point, but there is one detractor that really tarnishes this film badly. There's this really misjudged directing and writing choice to have a secondary narrative running alongside that of the one of Newton Knight. This second narrative follows Newton Knight's grandson, 80 years in the future, when he is involved in a court case which sees him wanting to marry his wife, but he is refused because he is one-eighth African-American. Obviously, it's terrible that this happened in real life, but I don't think that's the story that had to be told here, and this constant flicking back and forth is so jarring and distracting from the main story of Newton Knight. Cinema is all about being immersed in a story and in the world of a film, and this odd choice destroys all the hard work that was put into the design and the details of the film. It repeatedly took me out of the moment, reminding me that, oh yeah, I am just watching a film. And that is ultimately sad because this film could have been so much more had it not done that. Overall, Free State of Jones is an enjoyable period piece set in the American Civil War era, but it is marred by that crucially bad choice to have this sub-narrative running through it. That also makes it a solid 20 minutes longer than it really needed to be. For all of those reasons, I'm going to give Free State of Jones 3 stars out of 5, which I am sad in saying because I wanted to give it more, but they really dropped the ball on this one. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. If you've seen Free State of Jones, please let me know in the comments below because I love hearing your opinions as well, guys, and it really makes my day when I read all your comments on these videos, so please keep it up. I'll be back with another film review very soon right here, but until then, goodbye everyone.